I wake up at 4.30 a.m. sharp with no alarm clock because Outlook is auto-integrated into my brain. 4.30 a.m. is the most ideal time for all client time zones, including Antarctica. Then, I directly proceed to brushing my teeth and washing my face, particularly in that order, because what you say is more important than what you look like, and FaceTime is a thing of the past. Being in a client-facing role literally means your face is also your client. Keep in mind that Zoom now has breath sensor capabilities. As a top bucket analyst, I am so efficient that during the beginning phase of my morning routine, I actually gain time. So it's 4.15 a.m. now. I need to get better at this part. Prior to getting into my digital training routine for the day, I take a pre-workout consisting of blending together shredded branded post-it notes that have various financial acronyms written on them, notes from my last week's meetings, and dress socks that I wore during my successful summer internship, from which of course I received a return offer. This is a secret recipe that I don't share with everyone as it's an industry secret. It tastes amazing like all things in finance. Now the highlight of my morning. I do 500 reps of 10 clicks each for every single frequently used shortcut on Excel and PowerPoint. I alternate every other day for Word and Adobe Acrobat to diversify my portfolio. As a post-workout cooldown, I open up Google Drive to laugh at its lack of capabilities. I then jump to LinkedIn, the only social media worthy of my limited time, priced at $13.62 an hour, considering I work straight for 120 hours a week, every single week. I stare at recruiter emails and smile to myself at all the prestige I have by receiving these clearly customized messages that only a handful of talented analysts receive. It's time for Wall Street Oasis, the only place I can quench my thirst. I look for self-affirmation by searching up the name of my firm and checking its ratings on every metric that makes it look favorable so I can brag to my relatives during Christmas who think banking is when you deposit a check into an ATM. I finish my morning routine by sitting on my customized work chair handmade by my favorite portfolio company of the P group I'm monitoring, meditating on the library rate which is actually tattooed to my left ankle. I can't wait to rise before the sun next morning and repeat the same process for the next two years until I retire at 25. <laughs> hmm. Thanks everybody for 3,000 subscribers. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next week.